For the three of you, um, all of you, what is it that you think about both the series of movies and books that has just inspired this sort of phenomenon? I think, um, well, you have the whole vampire folklore, which is always interesting, but you, you mix that with this uh, love, love story, and uh, you know that's a timeless tale, the Romeo and Juliet story. But what I liked about it is uh, somewhere along the lines, Hollywood kind of made vampire movies like horror movies. And so when my agents called me and said, do you want to do this vampire movie uh, called Twilight? I said, no. And, uh, and then I read the books and I fell in love with them. because they, they I did. Because I was thinking like bats and caves <laughs> and like blood and guts and gore. But this was more of a throwback to what vampire movies originated from. And it was like mysterious and sensual and sexy. And, and uh, you mix that with this love story and it makes a really appealing story. So. I, I just think like a lot of the themes are very universal in that, um, you know, Everybody likes to sort of have this, this like imagine this ideal love or this you know ideal relationship that, in a sense, like could never really exist. And not just because Edward's a vampire, but because I think that it kind of represents like all first relationships in this sort of like you want to just dive in head first and nothing else matters. And um, after that one ends, which I think for most of us it does. Uh, you never really get that again because you're you're just too aware of what the reality is, and so I think that people, you know, really like eat up these books because we all kind of want that again. Well, I think after you get hurt, like your pragmatism takes over, and so you can't be that innocent. Yeah. Like I would die for you, someone will die for me, kind of a. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now you're like, you go die. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think, Liz? I, you know, I'm I, for me, I I I think it's the going into this world of this, I don't know if it's supernatural or unnatural, but this secret, mysterious world of vampires that I know obviously is not real, but you know, when it's done right and you can believe, you can make that leap in your imagination, there's just something so captivating about it. And it's just really, I mean, it's just captured my imagination ever since I was a kid. I think it's interesting too how it uh, has this multi-generational like um, appeal like you have the mothers and daughters that are bonding over this book and grandmothers and 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 moms and daughters you know I've met fans from like five years old up to 80 you know and then it's not just women you have the guys coming out because they like the action stuff too and they and as much as they don't want to admit it they like the love stories too and uh, and then the boyfriends and girlfriends go see the movies so you have boyfriends girlfriends dads taking their daughters moms taking their daughters and you know it, it has a little bit of everything for everybody um, since all this has sort of just exploded, do you guys have lots of crazy fan stories and are there things where you have to like, you know, escape through the service elevator at the mall and all that frenzy? <laughs> or I have a hard time saying no. So, uh, <laughs> so like people, like I'll, I'll be, <laughs> but, but I'll be at like my daughter's soccer, you know, game and like uh, somebody will come over and I'll sign a book and then all of a sudden someone else will come over oh. and see that and they'll sign a book and then all of a sudden like another team comes over, can we take photos? And I'm, all of a sudden it turns into like uh, an autograph, you know, meet and greet and I've got the whole park in front of me and I'm like, how am I going to escape this? I don't want to say no. And my daughter's like. Dad, I just want to, can you watch me play soccer? And I feel so bad. You know, I, I think that there's like a different way you can sort of look at this and spin it. I feel like we're always sitting around, I, and I'm guilty of this, and this is the first moment that I'm going to tell a different story. Um, <coughs> I feel like we're all guilty of going like, oh, God, yeah, and then they, they're falling here, they're chasing here, they're asking for too many hugs. Or what. There's something really cool about this. I have a 10-year-old little brother um, who... I think is the coolest kid in the world, but he might, you know, maybe other kids might not feel that way um, sometimes just because kids are hard on each other. And when I go into his school and it's like a bunch of 10 or 11 year olds, they might not know me, but everybody knows what Twilight or, or Eclipse mm -hmm. or the books or, you know. And it just like, it does create this frenzy and the look on his face and how happy he gets and the Aww. smile from here to here, it's so, it's so worth it. There's nothing I can complain yeah. about, you know what I mean? I think we're all really appreciative so. of, of, of how much <laughs> the fans like have come out for these movies. I mean, uh, we've had so much fan support that uh, we, we just keep, we're making these movies for them. We hope that they can continue enjoying them.